YouTube. What's going on? Witty P coming back with another one. Let's get it. You know I got to keep the fire coming. Let's keep it rolling. Today, I'm going to talk about the consequences of a winner in life. Yeah, there's consequences for everything and everyone in life. Let's just be real. But there's definitely consequences for a winner in life because no one cares about losers because losers don't have an effect on anything and they don't move the needle and no one cares about who participated. People only care about winners. Yeah, people only care about winners, so let's be real. So we're gonna talk about the consequences of a winner in life. Yeah, this is gonna be real, lock in. You know I love my life topics along with dating, relationships, sports. I keep it all balanced, so lock in. Before I start the video, please watch the entire If you like, subscribe to the channel to receive more content like this, just content about life and various topics. Let's get it. Yeah, the consequences of a winner in life. Yeah, I'm gonna just, you know, drop off a few consequences that a winner have to deal with. Like I said, a loser don't really have to deal with anything because they just hate. And losers, they just are participants. <laughs> and they don't have an effect on anything. It's the winners and the, you know, the ones that creep rise to the top that have to deal with you know, haters and things like that. So the consequences of a winner in life. Let's just start with, you have to be, as a winner in life, you have to be kind of secretive. What do I mean by secretive? You have to be kind of humble because when you're successful, you're, you hit your goals, you know, you check off everything that you want to do in life. You have to be kind of secretive, kind of humble because you don't want to let people into your business, your game plan, however it is that you achieve success. It's none of their business because they'll try to get into your business and say, oh, you should change things up or you could probably do this, but you already have a good program going. You already have a good thing going. That's why you're successful. So, and that's a good way you can keep haters away. And that leads me to my next point as far as consequences that a winner has to deal with. Haters. So when you're kind of humble, you know, more secretive, you're going to still deal with haters regardless when you're a winner. You're going to deal with haters regardless. But when you're more humble, you know, you can... Shake them off a little. You can shake them off a little better when you're humble. You can shake them off because they're not as thirsty because they don't know anything. But when you talk a lot, you boast, you try to brag, that's when you draw the attention to yourself. But when you don't talk, they can't, you know, be as, as nosy. So you're going to still get the haters regardless, though. So that leads me to my next point. You're going to deal with haters. Like I said, when you're a winner, you rise to the top. You're going to deal with haters. Jealousy. People talking from the sideline. <laughs> when you win in the game, people are going to be talking from the sideline. Just using the sports analogy. So, going to definitely deal with that, but... That's what comes with being a winner because you couldn't, you couldn't feel like you're really doing something if you don't have somebody trying to bring you back down because that's when you know you're going to the top because they everybody want to bring you back down when you when they see okay you're hitting your stride they want to bring you back down so. You're not winning until you actually get a little jealousy, a little hate. That's when you know, okay, I'm doing something in life. You know, I'm successful because now I got people talking. Now I got them talking. Now you got them talking. So, and that's only going to motivate you even more when you hear them talking and saying you shouldn't be in that position or... You don't deserve what you have at the moment. That's just only motivate you even more to like, okay, I'm going to keep going. 
I'm going to make them talk even more. So you're going to deal with the jealousy, the hate, you know, another consequence, you know, a winner in life. If you're another one, they're going to say, you're going to hear people say your success is not real. Why are they going to say this? If they can't get money with you or they don't know exactly what you're doing, you know, to bring in money because, you, you know, you're humble, you keep to yourself. They're going to say, oh, it's not real. He's a, he or she's, they're scamming or they're lucky. You're going to deal with that. They're going to say you're lucky. This is why it's important that you duplicate success. Because if you have success over and over, it can't be luck. You can get lucky one time. We all can get lucky one time and do something great or something just, you know, falls in our lap or, you know, go our way. But when you can duplicate success over and over, can't be luck. Can't be luck. So that's what you're going to have to deal with. Like, it's a winner and you want it, though. You want that. You want it because that's when you know, you know, you're hitting your stride. But people are gonna say you're lucky. And in sports, they say you're cheating. They say you're cheating. They say you steroids when you, you know, playing sports as a sports analogy. That's why you have to keep your success going. You have to duplicate success because they'll just have to come up with different narratives after a while. After a while, they're just going to come up with different narratives to the point it doesn't even make sense. So the consequences of a winner in life. It's tough, but you want it because that's when you know you're on the right path. That's when you know you're on the right path. You want it, though. You want that pressure. You want that pressure. Because after a while, you f you... You get a, a burst of energy off the naysayers and the, I guess you could say haters and because you want to make them even more jealous or sad because you know you deserve your position. You know how hard you work. That's why I should be no problem with duplicating your success. So consequences of a winner in life let me know what y'all think you know i love it i keep the fire coming comment like subscribe drop something down i love it so keep the fire coming knock another one out you know hit that bell icon so these videos come consistent so knock another one out bah, bah, bah. let's get it